Hello and welcome to Chet TV News. We begin our newscast at the Chetwin Public Library, where members of the community gather to celebrate the Chetwin Echo, a newspaper that has served the area for over 50 years. And now, it's gone. Residents gathering, sharing memories of something that once lived in the community may sound like a funeral. For the Chetwin Echo, a newspaper that made its last publication on January 7th, the community is celebrating its life all 56 years. Oh, Case is born November 12, 1996. Naomi Larson was the editor for The Echo. She began working for the paper in 2006. This celebration is bittersweet for her. Before arriving tonight, she was cleaning out her office. Now she's reflecting on the paper from over the years. You know, I pretty much lived it, you know, that I feel like I'm recognized by my career. So it's kind of different not having that at the moment. Mike Carter is a reporter for the Alaska Highway News in Dawson Creek. But before that, he worked for the Echo for two years. It was his first reporting job. I was sad. Um, sad that Chetwin won't have a voice, uh, a historical record anymore. Um, Newspapers, I don't know, like, do people see the value in them anymore? There's, there's a lot of questions there. Now, even though that the Chetwin Echo has finished publishing within the community, the memories will stay right here at the Chetwin Public Library. Behind me are some of the copies of the earliest editions of the Echo, including this one. This is a copy from back in 1960. Archives that look like this will eventually be bound and put on the shelves at the library. Something that Anna Peasgood, the library director, feels is important. We definitely want to keep that historical record here at the library so that way future generations can um, come to the library and read about what happened at certain points in, certain points in time. The decision to close the Echo's doors came from their owners in Toronto due to lack of revenue. Despite efforts to keep the Echo on newsstands going from at one point six staff to only two, the future for the staff who fought to keep the Echo alive remains unclear, other than it won't be with the Echo.